Dun 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 dun. Core Justice, Epilogue, C.G. Cooper, one chapter left. Did Cal survive? Did Wes survive? Guess we're about to find out. Epilogue. Camp Spartan, Arrington, Tennessee. The funeral was a private affair. All of Cal's and Jess's friends attended. They decided to de dedicate a new cemetery on Camp Spartan itself. With some heavy legal work by Marge Haynes, they were able to get the approval of state and local authorities. The deceased was family after all. The grave site was situated on a lonely hill overlooking the rifle range. It afforded a magnificent view of the surrounding countryside. According to Travis, it was where Cal had taken Jess for their first picnic, first picnic on the campus grounds. Cal Stokes stood flanked by his closest friends, looking down at the casket holding his beloved Jessica. Although still gripped with grief, his head and heart had turned the page. She would never be forgotten, but Cal could live free of guilt. The death of Dante West had closed that chapter for Cal. He could now move on as Jess wanted. The service was short but beautiful. Jess's pastor presided over the affair with grace and dignity and never ceased to amaze Cal as he stood surrounded by some of the fiercest warriors he'd ever met, that such men often held the most compassion and emotion. It was what allowed them to do what they did to the best of their abilities and protect fellow Americans that often, uh, fellow Americans that often criticized their methods and spat in their face. These were men of duty and honor. Among the tear-stricken brave, Cal was finally home. New section. Cal said his final farewells to Jess's parents and split off to rejoin his, fr his friends. Travis cut him off before he got there. How you doing, Cal? Still a little bruised up, but I'm okay. It's only been a week. You'll have plenty of time to heal now, Travis said. Cal's voice sounded absent. Yeah? <clears throat> hey, I know this might not be the best timing, but I've got some people I want you to meet. Here? Actually, down at the lodge. Cal raised an eyebrow. How about a hint? It's a little hard to explain. Why don't you tell the boys we'll meet them at the bar in about an hour? The sergeant major is bringing out the good stuff. New section. Travis led the way down the second floor corridor of the lodge. Cal could see two burly men in suits standing outside one of the large suite doors. What the hell? He decided to keep his mouth shut and follow Travis's lead. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Travis nodded to the two guards, guards as one mumbled into his lapel mic. Following his cousin into the suite, he noticed the backs of nine men as they entered. Each man, each man was dressed in casual attire, but even their clothing couldn't dampen their air of dignity and power. They came in varying shapes and sizes, but all seemed familiar to Cal and apparently with each other. The tallest guest turned, as did the other eight, at hearing the sound of the door closing. Cal almost tripped as he recognized each and every man, not from personal acquaintance, but because in the suite stood nine of the most powerful American political leaders of the last two decades, including three former U.S. presidents. Gentlemen, Travis said, allow me to introduce my cousin, Cal Stokes. Cal, say hello to the Council of Patriots. The end. Well, I hope you like that. Please let me know in the comments what you thought about uh, the book itself. Obviously, it's already written. Can't really be changed. But also let me know how I did, uh, what I could maybe do differently next time. Hopefully, you liked it so we can do another one. Obviously, the next book is Council of Patriots. I think I'm going to go back right now and do some of the short stories. Uh, some final thoughts. Me reading what I wrote 10 plus years ago is that I've grown as a writer. It's, it's, it's funny to see how I used to describe things. A little, uh, I don't know. A little hesitant, I would say. You know, it's it's like I needed I needed uh, I needed somebody to to pat me on the back and say, "Hey, man, you got this." But now it's it's a little more effortless, luckily. Uh, so uh, yeah, I don't know. It's always fun going back and seeing how you've you've matured over the years. Uh, it's like going back and seeing an old high school picture of of yourself and holy cow, look at that hair! I can't believe I used to slick it back that way. Um, but again, thank you guys for being on this ride. Please, uh, please share it with your friends. If you know of anybody, there are plenty of people out there that really don't have the money to buy a physical book or an ebook. So this is a great way for them to get in. You know, YouTube is free. They can come in and, and watch these chapters and get involved. 
Uh, so I'd love to be able to share it with friends. Uh, again, reach out to me. Uh, visit my website, cg-cooper.com to see all my books. I'm also on Amazon. We're also working on some other things to get them into other places like libraries all over the country, maybe all over the world. So if you have any questions, you can also email me at cgc, that's cgc at cg-cooper.com. Uh, all the information should also be in the details of this video. Uh, like and comment, share, everything that we can do to get this into a wider audience. But once again, thanks for hanging in for 30-some chapters. I really appreciate it. Love to go back and see how many hours this was. It was a lot of fun for me. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart, not just for being here, but for buying my books, for being part of Team Cooper. Uh, I love you guys and can't wait to do this again. See ya.